Finding patterns on a number chart is very beneficial to understanding numbers and the relationship together. Here we have the hundreds chart that has squares missing and some numbers filled in but other boxes blank. First, children have to understand that there are patterns. We look at the numbers that are given to us. We see that these numbers are in the 70s, 80, 90s, 100s, and 110s. Then we have to look at the columns. What do we notice about them? Well, there's a 5 in the 1's place here, a 6 in the 1's place here. So looking at these further, we can say that these are counting by 1's. 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. In this row, 85, well, what number comes right before 85? 84. Now we can see a trend that we have ones here, here, and here that are all fours. We have five here, here, and here that are all fives. So that the ones place must be a four here. The ones place must be a five here and here. Looking at those patterns once again. When we go down a column, we can notice that we start at 74, 84, 94. That must mean that we are counting by tens because the tens place changes, it increases by one more. So 94 plus 10 is 104. 104 plus one more would be 105 plus one more, 106. If we come down here, we have 115. One more is 116. One more is 117. We can finish up filling in this row right here. We have 94. We know that comes after that is 95, 96, followed by 97. We then can count backwards, so 94, 93, 92. This is how you fill in a hundreds chart with missing boxes and missing numbers.